the state of Arizona contains a wide range of highly unusual geologic features. These include active volcanoes which have altogether erupted twice in the last 1,000 years, including a volcanic field on the north rim of the Grand Canyon whose lava flows repeatedly cascaded down into it, caves with large stalactite and stalagmite formations, several thousand foot wide explosion craters, towering ash pillars from an ancient supervolcanic eruption, and even a large impact crater. Yet, there are also a number of lesser-known oddities in the state, such as the fact that Arizona contains the largest known kimberlite pipe on the planet. Or, in the case of a separate feature near the Black Canyon in Navajo County, the fascinating series of craters in the ground that are referred to as the Macaulay Sinks. These craters are densely clustered in a 445-acre or 0.7-square-mile region. They each measure up to 102 feet deep and 594 feet wide, and what is even more interesting is that early stages of these craters, that is, ones that are still forming, can be found. And two dozen of these craters are mysteriously aligned in a semicircle pattern. So what exactly are these features? The answer is that altogether, these 50 craters might look like Mars, aka volcanic explosion craters, but they are not volcanic in origin as the region has not been the site of any volcanic activity in several million years. Rather, the Macaulay sinks are a type of karst landform which are in fact sinkholes. Their origin can be traced back 285 million years ago to a time when Arizona was less than 500 miles north of the equator. As a result, a large low basin which had filled several million years prior as sea levels rose began to dry out. As this occurred, the remaining water became increasingly salt rich. Eventually, enough water evaporated that the salt could no longer be held in solution. It then sunk to the bottom and formed a thick salt rich layer. The sea levels eventually rose once again, and the salt rich rock was overlaid with shale and limestone. Hundreds of millions of years passed until uplift related to the Colorado Plateau began and cracks formed within this layer at natural weak points and faults. Rainwater, although infrequent, would when it fell go into these weak points in the ground. Eventually, this water interacted with sections of the salt-rich layer, causing it to dissolve over time. The water then transported the dissolved salt out, leaving behind a void space where the salt once was. Eventually, a section of rock overlying this void collapsed and over time slowly migrated upwards. Eventually, the closed cave reached the surface, exposing the void space to sunlight as a brand new sinkhole. Thus, the close spacing of these sinkholes which form lines likely represent the pathway groundwater took. As to why there are two concentric circle-like structures, this is less certain. I personally think that there once might have been a broad region of ground subsidence above a single large void space. Yet, instead of collapsing into a single broad sinkhole, the rock layers instead collapsed around the edges which relieved stress while leaving the center largely intact. This process repeated twice, forming two circles of sinkholes at different stages of upward progression of the sinkholes. The outer layer appears younger, while the inner layers appear older and slightly shallower. Over the next several million years, more sinkholes will continue to pop up in the landscape, and there is a good indication that if thorough scans of the ground were made, more void spaces just below the surface will be detected within sections of the area outlined in red. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.